I've been gone for a minute. Now I'm back. But now with the jump off. Uh, two major announcements. One, I graduated. Yes. And two, I've been shopping. But of course, why would I be back if I haven't been shopping? I have some things from The Gap, J. Crew, Victory Secret. Um, maybe one or two things from Forever 21 and mm, some random pieces either from online or um, Target probably. I don't know. It's a lot of stuff. But let's jump right in with the first announcement. I graduated recently, December 12th to be exact, and I now have a second degree in biology. This time it is a master's degree. I am now I now have an MS in biology. Look at my cap. <laughs> uh, decorated it myself. Those are my initials. Uh, had to incorporate denim because I love denim. And then our school colors are maroon and gray. Uh, and now on to the shopping. Let's get the little miscellaneous things out of the way first. The first thing I purchased uh, online is a card game called Black Card Revoked. Can you see that? Uh, it's similar to, I want to say it's similar to like um, Cards Against Humanity, but these are all um, either questions where you have to get the answer correct or like majority wins and there are different ways that you could play the game but they the questions mostly surround black culture because my life is beautiful what's up t-shirt reference shout out to Lily Singh also known as I I Superwoman I I <laughs> um, then another pro black purchase I made recently was the I Love My Hair coloring book and I love coloring books personally I love to color I just find it really soothing um, and this coloring book is you know like all about hair and I would open it to the page that I colored first uh, but this is just one of the pictures that I colored um, but you can just add like your personal touches to it. It's a little story in here about the artist who created all the drawings in the coloring book. They're just, they're so pretty. Look at this. Like, that's awesome. Look at the braids. Look at the braids. Puff balls. It's just so cute. This is one of, and it's an adult coloring book, so the pages are a lot thicker if you want to color with, you know, like markers or sharpie pins. Um, the paper is a better weight and texture. Um, <laughs> I, I'm obsessed with this coloring book. I really am. Like, I'm so obsessed. This is one of my favorite purchases of the year. And then I needed, I didn't need them, but I just bought new colored pencils. These are some Crayola double ended colored pencils. Um, they're cute. It was cheap. I really bought them because I needed a sharpener for the pack that I already had, and that one came with a sharpener attached. Um. Where else have I been? Do you guys want to do shoes or clothes first? Not that you could really respond, but since it's closest to me, nope, I'm forgetting something. I recently um, made a few homeware purchases um, because my brother lives with me now and I needed to find, you know, some creative ways to store all of the things that were just taking up space in the home. 
I recently bought um, a red bookshelf from Ikea. I'll insert a picture somewhere in here so you guys know what I'm talking about. But um, I, I got a red bookshelf. It just really fit the color scheme of my home. Uh, and then uh, for my bedroom, I got this really cute and cozy blanket from Target. And I love it. I love it so much. It's so comfy. I'm pretty sure I sleep with this every night. Even though it's a throw blanket and I both mainly bought it, you know, as decor. It, it's just too comfortable. Like, I love it. I need to buy another. Um, what's... Okay, the gap. I recently... Well, some of this is recent and some of these things I've had for maybe like two months or so. A month are we in now? Yeah, like maybe two months. Um, the first is this hat. And it's from the men's section. I prefer to buy hats from the men's section in most stores just because the caps are adjustable. And they're usually, you know, like, I don't know, more suited to my style than women's caps. So I got this from The Gap. It's Heather Gray, the yellow Gap emblem. Uh, I also purchased a new denim jacket from The Gap because due to an unfortunate situation, um, I needed to replace mine. So, I got a new jacket. It's not the same shade of denim as the one that I had previously. I believe the one I had before was a little bit darker than this. Um, but this was the darkest color that they had. And I can't live my life without a denim jacket. So, I bought this one. And it was on sale. Um, I also picked up a few short sleeve tees. Um, some I ordered online, some I bought in store. I think I, I know that I bought this one in the store um, because it was on sale for like six dollars and then um, sale items were an additional 40 or 50 percent off. So I grabbed all the size small short sleeve tees that I saw on the rack because I have a problem. Um, and then I have this white one that I purchased online and I have not worn yet. Um, but I also purchased black, blue, a gray long sleeve boat neck, gray long sleeve crew neck, um, an oatmeal colored boat neck long sleeve tee, and that may be it for t-shirts but those have all been worn and aren't in the wash um i also purchased online a pair of denim joggers from the gap they've got a hanger print in them ugly um but they have you know the elastic waist and the elastic ankles um, and they're pretty cute I like them. They're comfy. I've worn them once so far. Yeah, I think I've only worn them once. Um, I also needed a new blue sweater. Um, there's Pep again. This isn't you know, exactly what I wanted. Ideally, I would have liked something a little bit darker, but... This was on sale for like $17, so I bought this one, and it's comfy, um, but because of my sensitive skin, it's a little comfy, It's it can be a little itchy, so ideally I would wear it with a long sleeve shirt so that the material of the sweater isn't touching my skin directly. Um, and the last thing purchased from The Gap is a pair of high-waisted pair of high-waisted denim flares. Um, and if you 
know me well, you know that I am obsessed with two things. One of those things is a person. It's not a thing. <laughs> One of those things is the Miss Diana Ross. And in that same, I guess, era of Diana Ross, I am obsessed with all things 70s. It's the style, the music, the hair. I'm obsessed. Um, so these flares fit right in. And I believe I bought these in... Typically I buy, I wear a 28 or 29. I tried these on in a 28 and a 29. And because there's not much stretch in I don't think there's any stretch in them. Um, they didn't really fit very comfortably in the thigh. Um, they fit everywhere else. But they didn't fit well in the thigh. So I had to go all the way up to a 30. Um, and so they're a little big in the waist, but they fit everywhere else. Our next stop was Victoria's Secret, and I don't have very many things from Victoria's Secret. I purchased this sweatshirt, a black sweatshirt, gray, gray and white, pink, zippers on the side. It's really comfy. I love Victoria's Secret sweatshirts. And I liked the script of the pink. And then I thought that these zippers added a cute little bit of edge to the look. I also purchased this olive green sweatshirt. Orange um, accents. Cute little three-quarter zip. It's got another pink symbol on the side, you know, kind of like a varsity letter or badge. This little badge is itchy. So ideally you would wear something, you know, maybe three-quarter sleeved or long sleeved under this so that this part isn't touching your skin directly. But again, if you don't have sensitive skin like myself, it may not be an issue for you. Um, and both of those sweatshirts were purchased online. And then in store, because it was on sale, purchased this windbreaker. Did I need a windbreaker? Not really. But it was on sale and it was one of those um, after hour shopping events where you get a um, dollar amount off of your total purchase. Um, so I was just trying to get to my total purchase so that I could get that dollar amount off. Most of the things I purchased were for other people, things for my my mom or my godmom. The only thing I got for myself that day was this jacket and um this jacket a bra and a t-shirt that I ended up returning because when I tried it on later um I didn't like the fit of the bra but you know this does come in handy I've worn it uh, maybe three times since I purchased it uh this pocket here holds a lot of stuff so that's convenient um, from forever 21 I purchased this basic gray mini not mini pencil skirt um, I think it was like seven or eight dollars online I also purchased um, some two black bralettes and um, a racerback t-shirt dress but they're all on the wash so I will if I can find them insert pictures of the bralettes and the dress that I purchased um, from and Taylor Loft I purchased this maroon jumpsuit I 
I saw it in maybe August, I believe, and it was like mm, 70 or $80, and I was like, it's going to go on sale and it's going to be dirt cheap because it's the loft so I waited for it to go on sale and ended up paying $15 for this jumpsuit and I wore it for my graduation I wore it in the pictures um, for my graduation photo shoot so I'll insert those pictures um, in case anyone wants to see them and in the last of clothing purchases we have all of this stuff from where else but J Crew because J Crew is a personal save first I got this dress I believe I bought this dress in September I've worn it once it looked really cute got lots of compliments um, I just really like the military feel of this dress and I love olive green my mom wants me to stop buying things that are olive green I can't do it I like it I also bought this tunic and I love tunics so much that I bought that same tunic in yellow. And the yellow one has a floral print. I like this print so much. I also bought it in t-shirt form. Had this tunic come in my size and the three other colors that were available, I'd own those colors too. I got this t-shirt and it looks pretty big but it's a size small it's from the um, it's one of the collector tees and so those are sized fairly big I also purchased this one with the paint splatter And this one with a little owl on it because owls are my favorite animal. And this one has a sequined owl. And he's so cute. He's so cute in his white and gold. Or white and bronze. I also purchased this skirt, which was originally $88 and then it was on the clearance rack for $49 and then clearance was an additional 50% off I ended up paying $25 for this skirt it also came in navy and teal the navy one was not available in my size I am still sad <clears throat> I also replaced my Gigi pants because they suffered an unfortunate accident at the hands of my dog who decided that she would help me unpack the suitcase that had been sitting in the corner of my bedroom for over a month and she grabbed my Gigi's and she chewed them up. I also purchased this turtleneck sweater. I believe this is the front. Let's fold the neck. I was right. <laughs> I purchased this turtleneck sweater. It's pretty soft. Um, this actually does not irritate my skin. Uh, let's see what's the makeup of this sweater. This one is a wool blend and it's comfy and it's gray and we know I, I, 
Alat ko eh. Another army olive fatigue green purchase is this vest. This utility vest that I didn't really need, but again, it was cute, so I bought it. Um, and then it's got, you know, the fuzzy lining to keep you warm in the winter months. I don't remember. Wait, maybe this. Yep, I didn't take the tags off yet. That was 98 with 50% off. Um, and then this guy. I love it so. I want it in three more colors. Comes in navy, camel, black, and gray. And I need to own it in navy, camel, and gray. I like the contrast and the color. Um, this is the Regent Blazer. I cannot remember the name of this coloring, but it is still available in stores and online. And this is a wool blazer, 98% wool. And it's really cozy, and I'm obsessed with the color. Um, oh, another announcement. I have a new job. I, um, prior to graduating, I accepted a position as the laboratory research technician um, for the biology department at the school that I graduated from. And so I graduated with a full-time job, and that doesn't really happen as much uh, these days. But I am blessed and happy to be employed. Um, and so for work, I purchased this canvas tote with the B for Bria. Um, and then I like this cute little bow detail, and I'm obsessed with monogramming. And this still has all of my work stuff in it. Um, and I believe that's it for clothing purchases. Now, let's get into shoes. One is something that I have been wanting for quite some time now. And it is a pair of Doc Martens. Um, ideally, I would have liked a taller pair, but these were on sale for like, um, 98 bucks, I believe. Maybe cheaper than that, maybe 85. I don't know. Either way, it was a steal for the style. Um, these are the 1940s in black, and these boots are heavy. I wish someone had told me before I purchased them, um, but I still like them, and I wear them pretty often. Uh, what else? Sneakers. I have really been, you know, I've always liked sneakers, but I haven't always been a girl who buys and wears sneakers. Um, but recently... I've been purchasing lots of sneakers, so they're all New Balance. Um, so I have these. These are the. Mm, I don't know. They don't have a number name. Yes, they do. There they are. These are the four twenties, and um, what is this? It's like a neon pink, teal, and a heather gray. I also purchased the same style, it's 420s, in a black, orange, and gray colorway. I also purchased another pair. From J. Crew recently, and this is the New Balance 696. 
And these are in Heather Neon Orange, Baby Pink, and Navy Blue. And I just really like this colorway when I saw them in J. Crew, and I had to have them. They came in um, another color, but I cannot remember what that color was exactly. That one caught my eye. So and then I bought a pair of 530s. And these are in like a day glow. Is this neon yellow, gray, black, and white? And they're very cute and really comfy. And what else did I purchase? Oh, the last thing because this video is getting very long. <laughs> I bought some shoes. Now, one of the pairs of shoes I did not like, and so I ended up selling them. Um, but I bought this sandal. And I really like that when they're on, um, the color of the shoe is pretty close to my skin tone. So when I wear them, it just looks like the... But dazzling, you can't really see the sh the color of the strap against my skin. And then our last purchase were these. Um, something really simple, and I'm really pleased with all of my purchases. Thanks for sticking with me through this long long video. Um, as always, if you are interested in where I purchase these things, price points, um, or anything else for that matter, if you want to know good places to shop or where to catch a good deal, um, let me know. All of my information will be listed in the description box below. And I will try to insert pictures for the things that I didn't show you. Um, as always, peace and love, and thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.